Hi guys! Um, so I have a massive Lush haul for you today. Um, I'm actually still waiting on some items. Um, I've gone really kind of crazy over January and the beginning of February. So um, I do want to make a second part to this or just an additional haul video. Um, but I have a ton of stuff here and I was actually attempting to film this yesterday but I was talking so long and I just had so much stuff that my camera kept shutting off because um, I was just too long-winded. So I'm gonna try to get through this a little quicker today so I don't have that issue. Uh, so I'll just start now. Um, I have some really great shower products that I've been really really excited to try. The first being Butterball. Um, so this was released in the kitchen a few weeks ago and I actually missed it. Um, this is a pretty rare item. Um, it sold out in like minutes. Um, so I really had no chance. But um, luckily somebody had it on Facebook in a swap and sell group that I was in. So I was able to get this. And she was really, really kind and threw in a little bubble bar bath bomb as well. Which is great because I didn't actually get to try this over Christmas. Um, and these both smell delicious. They smell like cocoa butter. So kind of chocolatey and very creamy. Um, and they're both super moisturizing. So this has little chunks of cocoa butter in it. And this shower gel is like an amazingly thick consistency. I'll open it up for you. And it looks more like a lotion than a shower gel and it's just absolutely creamy and just delicious and honestly I would eat it. <laughs> it's so good. So the next product I have is Happy for Sad Shower Gel. So this one is a very light scent. Um, it is scented like neroli which is known to be extremely uplifting and just to put you in a good mood and it's a kind of purpley color. The only thing about this is that it is very very watery. You can probably see it just moving around in there. Um, so I want to do a DIY with this to hopefully find a way to thicken it up. Um, this along with some shower creams too because my Lord of Misrule is very very watery so I want to find a way to kind of thicken things up and I will definitely do a video on that. Um, but overall, the shower gel is really nice. It's um, kind of a gentle scent, so it's not like really in your face. Um, it does lather okay, although you have to kind of use a lot of it since it is so runny. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really feel like it goes very far. But um, overall, very nice gel. So I have a few jellies here. And jellies are my favorite product for the shower. Um, which is kind of funny because I was never really into them before. I first heard of them a few months ago and I kind of didn't really get it. It was more like a novelty product than something I would use on a daily basis. But I've recently discovered that they are absolutely incredible for shaving. Um, they're really smooth and your razor glides so easily. And of course most of them smell amazing, um, including this one which is Happy Blooming. This one smells like cherries. It's just straight cherries with a little bit of like vanilla or almond to soften it a little bit and make it a little sweeter. And this is probably my favorite jelly. I like this even more than iced wine, which until now was my absolute favorite. <laughs> um, but this is so nice. The only thing about this is um, I was using it the other day and I noticed it had some little like rough pieces in it. I don't know if maybe they pureed some cherries and had some pits in there, so it's a little bit rough or something. I'm not really sure what that was, so I thought that was kind of strange because every other shower jelly that I've used has just been incredibly smooth and just really nice to use. Um, so that was just one thing that kind of threw me off, but overall the smell of this is excellent, so if I don't end up using this directly on my skin. I can still use it in a shower poof and none of that um, gritty stuff will really bother me that way. Um, so my next shower jelly I was a little disappointed in the smell. Um, this is Sweetie Pie and this is supposed to smell like the comforter. This used to be a regular line product that um, was discontinued this year. Well, last year I guess now in 2015. Um, and it doesn't really smell like the comforter to me. Um, it's a little bit berry-ish, but it's very, like, I don't know, it has kind of like a sharp grassy scent or something that I'm really not fond of. Um, it smells a lot like the comforter shower cream, which is one of my least favorite smelling products. So, um, this is okay in the shower. I prefer this in the shower than I, um, compared to the shower cream. And it smells 
better in the shower than it does in the tub. But still overall not the best scent. Um, but I'll still use it. It's still nice if I'm using um, the bubble bar in the bath. I'll use this with it. And my last shower jelly that I have here is one that I've wanted for so long. Um, it's called Big Calm. And this is absolutely beautiful. It smells like pina colada. So very coconutty and summery and a little bit of pineapple in there. And it looks like the ocean. Um, this is, I believe, the only um, shower jelly that they have that has two colors. So it's blue and white and just really swirly and just so pretty. And I've seen people cut into it and it just looks like waves, ocean waves with big white crests and it's just so pretty. I don't usually cut my shower jellies, but I might have to cut this one in half just to see how nice it is inside. So last couple of shower products I have are some body butters. So this one is the Soft Touch. Um, this is just really gentle scent. Um, kind of cocoa buttery and just sweet, gentle, clean smelling. Um, I know this has banana and avocado oil, stuff like that in it, so it's going to be super moisturizing. I love body butters. Um, they're definitely one of my staples because I have such dry skin, so I love being able to just do a quick little application in the shower and I don't have to worry about lotion or anything afterwards, so it's really great in the morning uh, before work. So that one is a soft touch. And then I also have... Aqua Mirabilis, and this is almond. Um, so it has ground almonds, and the scent is basically almond butter. It's so good. Honestly, it smells like I could make a sandwich out of this. <laughs> and this, as well, is um, just very moisturizing, lots of oils and butters, and just delicious. So this one I'm very excited to try, too, since it's exfoliating as well. So the last shower product I have in here is Rainbow Fun, um, and I was really excited to try this when I saw they came out with it because it has one of each of the regular seven um, types of fun in here. So it's a really great way to try all the colors and kind of decide what you want to repurchase and use a lot. Um, so this is really great too because I have a whole variety here because I like to use this for shaving as well as the jellies. It's so funny. I have so many things now that I used to shave with because um, I hate traditional shaving cream. So it's nice that I've found a few different options. But anyway, this is nice to kind of coordinate with your other shower products um, and scent and color. So you have seven different scents to choose from here. So I think that's a pretty good variety. And it's a pretty good deal too. I think it was around eight pounds. Um, so maybe $12 and you get to try all the colors and just decide what you like and what you don't like. So I think that's a pretty fun idea. So for body products, I only have one here um, that's a massage bar. So this is the Sleepy Head Massage Bar and this was released um, in the kitchen when um, they were doing a bunch of items full of lavender and really relaxing scents. So I had to get this because not only is it lavender scented, but it has a moon on it and I love moons. Um, so this just smells so relaxing. And I love massage bars. I use them as an alternative to lotion um, because they're just like really extra moisturizing um, because especially in the winter I find that lotion doesn't always moisturize quite well enough so having the extra oils from a massage bar is just really nice. Then I do have a couple other things I guess you could call body products and they are perfumes. So um, there have been a few different perfumes in the kitchen lately and I've kind of held off purchasing them because the shipping to the US is like insane. It's around $40 I think after conversion. Um, but I was able to get some because I started doing group orders. So if we all chip in and kind of share shipping, then it ends up being a lot cheaper for everyone. Uh, so I was able to get a few things. So I got Celebrate and it's just so beautiful. This is one of my favorite Lush scents. It's very citrusy and it has a little bit of cognac in there. So it's, um, it's not just like a bright summery citrus. It can definitely be worn any time of the year. Um, and it's just, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I've been wearing this every day since I got it, so this is definitely a favorite. And I have um, the solid version on the way, so that's going to be great. Because um, the scent on this doesn't really last that well. I noticed I put it on before I left the house for work the other day, and by the time I got to work, 
it pretty much was undetectable. So if I can carry around the solid with me, um, that'll be really good to top up throughout the day. Then another liquid perfume is 2543. If you've smelled avocado co-wash, you'll probably find this pretty similar. Um, I think they both smell like lemon cheesecake or something, just a really creamy, citrusy scent. Um, the only difference, I think, is this one is a slightly warmer, rounder scent, um, and it's just very nice and comforting. And this is great for any time of year because, again, like Celebrate, it has that citrusy element to it, which keeps it really fresh and great for summer. But this one also has that warmer um, background notes that are, will keep it more appropriate for winter as well. The last liquid perfume I have is the President's Hat. And this one I had kind of been going back and forth on for a while. Um, I never purchased it before, mostly because of the shipping cost, but with the group order I figured, why not, I'll go ahead with it. Um, the only thing I'm not totally in love with about this is it's a little too smoky for me, I think. Um, it has, what does it have, it has patchouli oil, which I'm... I like it in some things, not in others, it really, really depends. Um, and this also has cystus oil, myrrh resinoid, vanilla absolute, and oak moss extract. So it's kind of earthy, kind of sweet, and it definitely has a hint of smokiness. And I, I do like the scent on its own, I'm just not sure if I really enjoy how it mixes with my body chemistry, but I do feel like every time I wear it I do start to like it more a little bit each time. So I'm going to continue to try it and hopefully it grows on me a little bit. Okay, so next I have some awesome, awesome skincare items. One of them is a repurchase, so I'll go through that one first. This is Full of Grace, and it's looking a little bit worse for wear right now because I did use it yesterday. I gave my mom an at-home facial. Um, so I used this for her facial massage, which actually worked out incredibly. I loved it for that. Um, so I've only used this once since I got it now, but it's definitely shrunk in size a bit. But um, this is such a great product. I use this as a night cream, um, and it just has some beautiful essential oils because it's very soothing and calming, um, and it's a very relaxing scent, which makes it great for before bed. So another face product I have is Enzymian Facial Moisturizer. I've actually been looking for an actual facial moisturizer for a while. Um, I was using Full of Grace morning and night um, because I didn't have anything else at the time, but not only is that very costly and it goes through it really fast, it isn't really the best thing for me for during the day because it is very rich. So I wanted something a little bit lighter during the day that I could put makeup over if I wanted to, and this seems to be working really well. I haven't broken out from this yet, which is great, because I have sampled a few of Lush's moisturizers, and they have all broken me out. Um, but so far, so good with this one. And this one is really great because um, it has a lot of fruit enzymes in it, so it's very brightening for your face as well. So last on my list for skincare is toner tabs, and I have quite a few here. Um, I got two of each of these. They released four different varieties in the kitchen. Um, the only toner tab I've used so far is the Tea Tree Toner Tab, which is one that they always carry at Lush. Um, but I have a few special ones here. So the first one is Q10, and I have Vitamin C, Vitamin E, and Moon and Sun. So these are all kind of for different um, skin complaints and skin concerns. So the next item I have is Play-Doh's Bubble Bar, um, and this one smells so good. It's lavender, um, so it's super relaxing. And I don't know if you can see on the camera if it's picking it up, but this is absolutely highlighter yellow. It is so bright, um, so this is going to turn the water such a cool color. Um, and I've heard such amazing things about this one. Um, people are, are definitely always after this. Um, and it's just going to be a really nice bubble bar for before bed. Another lavender bath product is Ickle Devil um, Bath Bomb. And this one, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed to see the size of this. Um, for the price I paid, I was expecting something probably twice as big. Um, so they released this one, which is the devil one, and then an angel one as well. Um, unfortunately I didn't get myself the angel one, I kind of 
ran out of space in my group order, um, so I only have this one, but they're the same exact scent. They're both lavender scented, um, and they smell the same as the Ickle Baby Bot, which is one of Lush's regular items that you can always get. Um, so I am excited to use this. I want to try cocktailing it with some things because I don't think it'll really have much effect on its own since it is so small, so I'll definitely mix it with a bubble bar and maybe even another bath bomb. Um, but it definitely smells nice and I'll use it. I just don't know if it was worth the $4. Next item I have, I'm so excited I got. Um, I actually have two of these and that is Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb. This is one of the first ever products I tried from Lush um, and I absolutely loved it and they actually discontinued it shortly after I used it um, so I wasn't able to purchase any more at the time which I was really disappointed about because it's one of my favorites still um, even after trying a bunch more different things and this is really cool because it kind of has like a bath melt inside so it's purple on the outside and that fizzes away like a regular bath bomb and then inside it has like a turquoisey blue um, center which has a lot of oils and butters so it's definitely a more moisturizing bath bomb and this smells really nice too it has cinnamon in there so it's kind of spicy and I I know it has bergamot in here but for some reason to me it smells kind of like grape or some sort of berry, which is really interesting, and it makes me think of like some sort of grape gumdrop, because it's definitely gumdrop shaped, <laughs> and then it has that smell too. So this is such a cool bath bomb. I love it so much, and I'm really glad I got to stock back up on a couple of them. Wish I got more, but I can't really go crazy, because as I said, I'm trying to cut down on my bath products. This next item, I actually did not purchase. I got this as a gift from someone in my um, group ordering group on Facebook um, because she was just really grateful that I was doing the group order. So she sent me a really, really nice package with some stuff that I had been wanting to try. So she gave me a bunch of samples and then she gave me this, which is Bubble Grub. Um, this is a little bubble bar. It smells kind of vanilla-y and very earthy. Honestly, it reminds me of going out into the garden after a rainstorm or something. It's just very, very earthy, but um, I really like it. I'm not huge on earthy scents, but this is definitely one that I'm going to enjoy using. Unfortunately, he did break, but that's fine because I was going to break them and use them in two different pieces anyway. Um, but I'm so happy that she sent this to me. It was really, she didn't need to, and it was just so thoughtful of her. So that's really nice that I have that. Alright, so that is it for my um, UK kitchen stuff, but I do have a few other items here from the Japan kitchen, which is absolutely amazing. I ended up getting some other stuff that I really, really, really wanted to try uh, for quite a while. So, these are a few different orders. I did... Um, one around Halloween because they had Jacko Bath Bomb in the kitchen along with Witch's Ball, uh, which is Bubble Bar. So I ordered those then. It took me months to get them. It took a really, really long time because shipping from Japan and going through um, a shipping service. And then I also did this through a group, so it had to go through the seller on the group, too. So it just it took a very, very long time, but I finally got all my stuff. Um, and I did do an additional order as well. So this is one I just got directly from the um, admin of that group, and this is Schnuggle Body Butter which is one of my favorites. As I said before, I love body butters, and this one is lavender scented. This is the first body butter I ever tried. Um, this was in the kitchen. It was part of one of my first kitchen purchases, and as soon as I tried it, I needed to track down some more, so luckily she had them. Uh, so I got one of these. And then I got this massage bar as well. Um, this one is called Mange 2. And this is so good. It smells like some sort of minty cake. It's very vanilla-y and just minty and just really, really nice. And I've heard great things about this too. It's nice and moisturizing, as most massage bars are. And it's pretty big too, so it's going to last a long time, which is great. Because I don't know when I'm going to come across another one of these. So from the same time that I got the Schnuggle Body Butter and Jacko Bath Bomb, um, I also got Witch's Ball Bubble Bar, which I was so excited about because anything witchy is totally up my alley. So this is so nice. It's um, very herbal, a little bit spicy, and maybe like a little bit berry scented too. And as you can see, it has the um, star anise on top. And it's supposed to be a darker purple color, like almost as dark as the Phoenix Rising bath bomb. But I do find that with Lush's um, purple and blue pigments, 
they definitely fade a lot. Like my first Phoenix Rising I had, I left it kind of near a window for like a couple days and it just faded so quickly to almost this color. Um, and this one was pretty purple when I got it and I don't even know how it faded, but it did even though I've left it in a drawer. So I, I'm really not sure why they fade, but they do. But I'm sure the bath will still be pretty. I bet it's still purple on the inside. Even if it's pink, it'll still be so nice. Then also part of that little order, um, this one I got directly from the seller, um, the group admin. And this is Baby Face Facial Cleanser. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this, to be honest, um, because I've heard it's very, very similar to um, Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser which does not agree with my skin at all. It is way too emollient. Every time I use it, it just feels like I have just a layer of beeswax just clogging my pores and I always break out. So I don't think I'm going to be using this. Um, I'm going to hold on to it in case my skin definitely clears up. I will totally use it. Um, but as of right now, I'm still kind of battling with a lot of acne. It's doing great right now, but I'm still definitely trying to clear it up a little bit more um, but if if the condition of my skin stabilizes a bit and I can kind of start experimenting with more stuff I'll try this but as of right now it's just gonna stay in my skincare drawer for a little longer also I put this just in um, a black pot that I had an empty one from a face mask um, it does not come in a black pot. I just put it in there, especially since I was going to be um, holding on to it for a while without using it. I just wanted it to stay fresh. The last two products I have in here are probably, well, not probably, they are most definitely my favorite things out of the whole haul. Um, Olive Branch Shower Gel is my favorite product. Um, I definitely like Avocado Co-Wash. It's one of my favorite scents and it works amazingly, but something about the olive branch the scent of it is just so fantastic um, it just reminds me of some gorgeous beautiful woman who has her shit together and is poised and graceful and just perfect if that woman exists the olive branch is what she smells like and I just I need I need to be her and I need to smell like the olive branch. It's just so good. I need it all over my body. Every type of cosmetic that Lush sells, they need to have everything in this scent. So I was lucky enough to get two big old tubs of the olive branch body lotion. Now this stuff smells so good. It's just like the shower gel, which is amazing because I can use this right after I use the gel and just smell so good all day. Um, I'm really glad I got two as well because if I, I know that if I only got one, I would just, I would just hold on to it and I would never use it and I would just look at it because this is what I do with the potion, another one of my favorites. I have one bottle of potion body lotion and I kind of just look at it every day and I'm like, oh. I want to use it. I want to smell like that, but I'm going to run out and then it's going to be gone and then I'm going to be so sad. So with this, I made sure to get two so I can at least use one pot before I feel like I have to hoard the other. Um, so these are great. I haven't used them yet, um, but I'm definitely going to next time I use my um, shower gel in this scent. And if that could get any better, I also got the Olive Branch solid perfume. So this is really cool. I like the packaging in this a lot more than um, the other solid perfumes that come in like the little like lip balm tin type thing. Um, this is nice because you can just put it right on. Um, you don't have to worry about sticking your finger in there and getting it all gross. Um, and this smells amazing. This is like the shower gel just like concentrated into like the most amazing scent. <sighs> I could sit here and sniff this all day and I'm definitely going to keep this in my bag. I just really hope I don't ever lose it because that's something I would do. But I want to keep this on me at all times so I can just keep putting it on all day. I'm going to put some on right now. It's so good. I really wish this was easier to find. This was so hard to find. I don't even know if the um, UK kitchen has ever made this. Um, I think it might only be Japan 
And I definitely want to get the liquid perfume at some point. So I hope that the UK Kitchen comes out with that soon because even with the shipping, honestly, with the $40 shipping, that is something I would buy without going through a group. Like I would buy 10 bottles and just make the shipping worth it um, because that is something I feel like I cannot live without. So that is it for this haul. Um, I do have some more stuff coming. I was hoping I would get my package of Valentine's Day stuff today. So I could do a little unboxing at the end of the video, but that didn't come yet, which I'm so disappointed because I had ordered that the day the stuff was released, which was like a month ago now. Um, it was sometime in early or mid-January, and it's now almost mid-February. still haven't gotten it. Um, they had sold out of one of the items, which I thought was really weird because it was the day the stuff was released, so I don't really see why it took them three weeks to contact me to tell me that something was sold out but they shipped out everything else sometime last week so I was hoping I'd get it today because it's been about a week but looks like I still have to wait a little longer um, I just hope I get it in time for Valentine's Day because that would really suck um, because I definitely ordered it well in advance I didn't think it would take a month to get to me oh well not bitter. <laughs> um, so I definitely have a haul of that coming if and when it finally comes. Um, and then I do have a bunch more kitchen stuff on the way and I'm always ordering because I have no self-control. So <laughs> I'll be getting tons more stuff and I hope to have another video either this coming weekend or next weekend after that. Um, and I also want to announce that my boyfriend and I are getting a camera. So um, the camera I have right now is fine, it works, um, but I had some issues with it yesterday when I tried to film this and it's not the greatest quality. I definitely want to do something, I want to have something better. And he wants um, to start his own channel. He has some really awesome video ideas. So we decided we'd go in together on a really nice camera. So we're thinking about getting the Panasonic AF100. I just definitely want to expand my channel, maybe do some stuff um, that's not just Lush specific, maybe um, some fashion stuff or makeup or whatever. Um, so definitely let me know below what you would like to see me do videos for. Um, I am going to be changing my background. I'm going to be moving my whole little setup into the studio that we will be making at his apartment. Um, we have a spare bedroom over there that we're going to make into our filming room. So we'll have the camera and we want to get some studio lighting and all that awesome equipment. So we're going to have a little change, hopefully over the next couple weeks. So I am definitely going to need to go shopping for some um, nice background stuff because I'm not going to take any of this with me. I definitely like keeping my bedroom decorated the way it is. So I wanted to go thrifting. I have a few thrift stores in my area. So I thought it might be fun if I did a little thrifting haul so I could do some decor stuff that I'm going to be having in my new background and then maybe some clothes and stuff too, just see what I find. So let me know below if um, that's something you guys would be interested in because I'd love to do some other non-lush videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.